What's up YouTube, Brian here back again with another video and today is a big massive unboxing. Spring's coming up and I did a bonkers order with Omnia Fishing. Now this is not total clickbait because uh, when you tag when you take all the total price of the order plus tax this definitely went over fifteen hundred dollars Now this wasn't completely out of pocket and that's because of you my Community and the people who watch all these videos and interact with me on Instagram Because you guys have been using my code on Omnia and FYI all my current codes will be posted on my Instagram and in the link uh, I'm sorry in the description of this video along with all the tackle that you see me unboxing here. There's gonna be links for all those products. And then I'm always gonna have like my current code. I usually rotate it every month at Omnia. We can almost always get you 15% off most everything at Omnia. So because people have been using my code so effectively, uh, this allows me to do these kinds of crazy ass unboxings. And you know, not everything comes out of pocket for myself, but I also get to dabble and try a lot of different baits. And, and you know, and there's there's a couple wish list items in this order. I will say that I kind of padded my stats with basically basically a thousand dollar combo so if you're really into bougie rods and reels i got you covered so i got a really sick combo well kind of we'll get into that but and then i also got a ton of baits now i went to instagram um i love instagram if you're not following me definitely hit me up right there i'm at punch fishing uh now i asked the community on instagram for some bait suggestions some things because i order a lot of the same things and i've ordered i've tried a lot of different stuff and there's a lot of things in omnia where i've already bought it i've already tried it and i was like there's got to be some stuff in here that i haven't done or haven't tried so i asked the community and people out there gave me some great ideas i'm not going to name all the names i don't remember everybody that told me stuff so, but if you've seen your bait in this box thank you for your suggestions i do like interacting with everybody on instagram so now, if you guys don't know, Omnia has a membership program, unlike Tackle Warehouse and some of the other sellers, where if you're a premium member, you get free shipping no matter what the cost of the item is. So if it's a $2 thing of hooks or um, sinkers, they'll ship it to you for free um, if you're a premium member and you get 10% back in your account. So when you use codes, you get a discount, but then you're also getting 10% back into your account. So you're essentially kind of getting 25% off uh, if you stack with codes. So that being said, really look into the Omnia premium membership. I'm a member, I pay I pay for my premium memberships myself. I, it's a great service, I, you know, I don't see why you wouldn't. Anyway, let's talk about this box. So this unboxing is, I did a big inventory of all my stuff that I have down in my tackle archive and I dumped everything out of my boat and I find out that I'm missing a lot of jigs. Like I'm like really low on jigs. So a lot of this stuff here is jig content. So if you're a jig fan, you're probably gonna like a lot of the stuff that's in this box. Um, and I also got a few uh, odds and ends for this, this rod right back here. So if you're curious, one of the rods that I picked up recently and in this order is the Mega Bass P5 Mad Bull. So there's some baits in this box that I want to throw in the Mad Bull. If you're not familiar, Mad Bull is a medium, a medium heavy, moderate action moving bait rod. So it's got the amazing carbon grip. Um, now I have two of these rods now with the carbon grip. I have the Super Destroyer P5 and now I have the Mad Bull. This carbon grip is literally amazing. I mean, when you, the ergonomics on this is fantastic. It's got a big wide fat handle, but it's got these two l just luscious grooves for your fingers in the back. I mean, when you hold this rod, it just it just fits your hand so well. Um, it's the sickest looking rod in the Mega Bass line is any of these carbon grip rods. Uh, they just look amazing. Now, I've never used the Mad Bull. I'm gonna try it this spring. I'm gonna try it for reaction baits, spinner baits, chatter baits, crank baits. All these kind, of, you know, may probably throw some spooks and top water type baits, you know, walking baits and that kind of thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play with it. We're gonna see what it does. Um, I already have a reel for this. I'm gonna be throwing a Steez A7 on this thing. There's another reel in this box that's gonna go on my Super Destroyer, and we'll get into that in a second. So first off the gate, uh, Omnia has an awesome selection of Mega Bass P5 rods. So if you're looking for Mega Bass rods, Omnia's got them. Check the link in the description to where you can find those. Anyway, this is a big box. A lot of stuff in here. Let's get going. This video is probably going to be really long, but whatever. Oh, something flew out. Sorry, I saw something fly out of there. So I got the cool Omnia vinyl sticker. Oh, man. We got a whole lot of stuff in here. Buckle up. Okay, so I'm going to try and get through this as briefly as, or as quickly as possible. I know it's going to be impossible because I talk a lot. But first off, we're going to dive right into jigs. So one of my favorite just all around jigs is the Stealth Fighter jig. This came out a few years ago and uh, I've caught so many fish on the Stealth Fighter jig. It's just one of these jigs that you can just tie on and have on all day. You don't have to have different types of jigs. This jig skips pretty well. 
Goes into grass pretty well. Goes around cover pretty well. This is a good like all around jig. The skirt material is very, um, very kind of high end. These are all hand tied. Uh, these are tungsten, so the heads are smaller. Just an overall great jig. And I needed to reload because I've gone through a lot of them. Whether getting bitten off, breaking off, losing them. Uh, the one downside I will say with the Stealth Fighter jig is these jigs can't take a ton of punishment. Like if you fish these hard and you're fishing, knocking these in the pontoons, docks, catching a bunch of fish on them, really beating the crap out of these jigs, they they show wear and tear quite a bit. These skirts uh, tend to um, pull apart. Uh, the heads, the paint jobs go crazy. So I'm just saying, it's not like the most durable jig, but man, these things are fish catchers, totally. So what I got is I got uh, some colors that I needed and some weights. So I was kind of low on black and blue, so I grabbed a three ace and a five ace. Now I like three ace for really shallow fishing around docks, but anytime I'm away from the docks, I like to have five ace or half. If I'm fishing grass, I'm throwing five ace. Uh, if I'm around docks, I'm going half or three ace. So I just kind of, I like to have an assortment kind of depending on the depth of the water and the, you know, just how I'm feeling that day. So I got some more, I, I was kind of low on five ace and half ounces, especially five ace. So I loaded up on some more five ace. There's some more colors. Um, you can check out Omnia, check out these colors. I mean, everyone knows this jig. This is a pretty well-known tungsten jig, but if you're looking for just kind of an all around, I just want one jig. They are a little expensive, so definitely use codes when you buy these because it, it gets the price down a little lower. But you're going to have to pay more for tungsten. It's just how the jig game is. So uh, I'm going to get out. I got more of these. So I got another five ace. Uh, no, it was a half in the black and blue. So I basically got all the sizes in black and blue because I'm kind of out. Um, and I got some various five ace and whatnot. So now um, I wonder if that's okay. So I'm just trying to get these all out of here. So I got a whole bunch of Stealth Fighters. So anyway, not terribly exciting. Everybody knows what those are. Now, I did pick up a crankbait. Um, I got this Duel. I've never had a Duel Reals crankbait. This bait was suggested to me by Rich Lingren, and it is in a special color. It is in the Aaron Martin's, um, oh yeah, the Aaron Martin Dawn color, AM Dawn. I don't know if you guys can pick that up or not. It's a little, there we go. So this is the Apex. It's a dual reals crankbait. I've never thrown a dual reals. Uh, this bait looks like it's going to be an awesome bait to throw on the Mad Bull. Definitely going to be throwing it on there. It's got a pinkish, it's got a pink, light pink hue to like a green pearl fade. And then it is very translucent. And when you look kind of through it in the light, it is definitely very greenish. So this is the Apex uh, 66 square bill uh, from Duo. I'm excited. I've never tried a dual crankbait. Why not? It's going to throw pretty good on that Mad Bull back there. Speaking of Mad Bull crankbaits, I went nuts and grabbed a couple of the Evoke, the Depths Evoke 2.0 colors that um, I don't have. So these are two colors in the 2.0 that I have not. Here, let's flip that back the other way. <laughs> uh, these are two colors that I have not tried. Um, these throw allegedly really well on the Mad Bull, so we're going to try that out on the Mad Bull. Uh, I, I, I have a bunch of these depths crankbaits. They're, they definitely work. They're definitely good. They go through cover pretty well. They, they bounce off rocks real well. Uh, this is the uh, Red Craw color, obviously, Red Craw. And then this is probably one of the most popular colors in the depths line. Uh, and, the, and this kind of, the, this, the Biko, Biwako, Biwako, I don't know, the name of the lake in Japan. Um, but it is a chartreuse. So it's got a blue top chartreuse body. This is just a really hard color. This goes out of stock all the time, especially in the 1.8. So if you see these in stock on Omnia in this particular color, especially if you're fishing, fishing smallmouth waters, um, grab this bad boy. Again, these are kind of expensive. Use a code, you can get these prices down. Kind of a high-end bougie crankbait. Um, so speaking of Omnia, they always include a note. I didn't read the note. Thank you for your order. Good luck fishing, Joe. Omnia always gives you a handwritten note in your orders. Here, we'll let you see what that one. Pretty simple. Joe's probably like, I'm sick of putting this box together. Good luck, buddy. So shout out to Joe from Omnia for the for for the uh, for the note. Now speaking of jigs, I got way more jigs. So I was really I love finesse jigs, and I want to keep trying different more types of finesse jigs. A finesse jig that's definitely on my radar that I hadn't tried out or heard of is the Z-Man Cross-Eye. So the Z-Man Cross-Eye jig is a much smaller, they call it a power finesse jig. These come in 3 ace. 
Uh, I'm going to pair these up. I have some plastics in here. We're going to pair these up. So I'm going to take one of these out of the package. So if you haven't looked into these, um, these are little, little guy. These are super small, little jigs. They have small shank hooks, really long weed guards. Obviously, I think that needs to get trimmed down. I would be cutting that down a little bit, maybe even cutting it off if I'm fishing for smallmouth. But anyway, I've heard from smallmouth anglers that these um, cross-eye power finesse jigs from Z-Man, when you pair them up with a very specific plastic, are quite good. So let me see if I can find that plastic in here. It is a Z-Man, the TRD Bugs. So apparently the Z-Man cross-eye finesse jig with the TRD Bugs is a great combination for smallmouth fishing in rocks, fish, fishing around docks, woods, that kind of stuff. Typical smallmouth uh, types of water. I'm gonna be throwing these in Wisconsin for sure. Probably, I'm three ace, I'm probably gonna throw it on a spinning rod. Could also probably throw this on the X bites as well. I think this would be a great bait to throw on the X bites together because X bites is really good at these uh, finesse jigs. So anyway, gonna try out the Z-Man versions of the finesse jigs. Uh, we're gonna kind of keep bouncing all over the place here. X Zone. I love X Zone baits. They have a new drop shot bait. I'm sure you, if you're on Instagram, you've probably seen these being promoted to hell and back because everyone's talking about these as one of their Bassmaster Classic releases. This is called the Hot Shot Minnow. Uh, I'm going to take this out of the package super quick. It's it's not. This isn't a groundbreaking drop shot bait. It, it looks like a lot of different drop shot baits that have come out that's very similar to this. Uh, I'm not going to name them all, but you, once you see the profile, you're going to kind of know what I'm talking about. It's kind of almost got a hazadong shad front half and then you know the bulbous tail back half so i'm going to try this on a nose hook for drop shot i think it's going to be great you could even throw this on a little ned head um you know if you got to get really finessey especially with like small mouth lakes so i think this is cool looking bait i got this in the classic 309 so if you're buying x zone baits and you're not sure which color to get the 309 just get it it looks like it's got a green on the, on the top purple flake silver on the bottom I catch walleyes with this, I catch bass with this, pike eat the crap out of this thing, I've caught crappies on this color. The 309 in Exxon is just an awesome, just does everything all around color, uh, can't go wrong. So that's the Hot Shot Minnow from Exxon. Uh, you know, not groundbreaking drop shot baits, but you know, I like trying new stuff. I drop shot a lot now that I have an active target and I trust Exxon, they make good stuff. So I had to get just one 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 package to, to try out. Now, uh, speaking of, let's see what else we got here. Speaking of jigs, I just had to do this because Jeff uh, Jason Christie just won the Bassmaster Classic fishing the Jig, Jig, jig? no, Jujigsu. That's a mouthful, Jujigsu. The Jujigsu jig is what uh, Christie was tossing around. He was tossing around a, uh, a half ounce, and this is a 5 8 but the, I don't. I just wanted to check this jig out. I'm like, hey, he won the classic on it. Omni had him in stock. Uh, let's give one a whirl. Let me pop one open real quick. Uh, I know this video is gonna get real long if I'm opening up every single bait. But hey, why not? That's why you come here. Let's take a look at this bad boy. So this is obviously a lead bait, and it's got a monster head. So that's a big old head. No wonder Christy likes skipping this thing around docks. This looks like a skipper du jour right here. Um, you know, skirt doesn't look like anything. Skirt doesn't look like anything special. It's got a big old four out hook on there. Um, you know, honestly, I'm not like wowed by this jig. It looks pretty okay. I don't see what the big deal is. I mean, Christy is obviously sponsored by War Eagle, so he's got to throw their jigs. But anyway, it's lead. It's got a big flat head. It's a big arky thing. Uh, the line tie is sticking straight up, which is interesting. Um, weed guard is at the right angle. Don't need to trim that down all that much. That looks pretty good, almost out of the box. So I don't know. I got a couple of these. We'll try them out. We'll, I'll throw this on the Super Destroyer uh, and uh, we'll skip some docks with it, see how it goes. You can pretty much throw any trailer you want on there. So jig, got a lot of stealth fighters. We got some of those cross-eye finesse jigs. We got the, the Bassmaster Classic winning uh, jig. Uh, let's skip over to something else real quick. Buzz baits. I don't throw a ton of buzz baits, and I only have a couple that I throw, maybe two, three that are in my kind of main rotation. But I've been told that the Tackle HD James Watson, uh, they call this the Worldwide Buzzer, is supposed to be pretty good. Uh, so I'm gonna give this a whirl. It's very, it's a little more compact, it seems like, than most um, buzz baits. I think I can get this open without wrecking the package. 
Um, I got it in the black and gold. This is a bait that I will be throwing on probably on my javelin. Um, so yeah, it's got a groove right in the head I'm noticing right there. So I don't know. It's got a big wide head for a big keel. Um, I got the gold in the black right here. So it's a little more compact. This is like a like smaller, like the total package on this seems to be pretty small. It's almost like, could you call it a finesse buzz bait? I don't know, but I don't know. We'll see. I'm, I'm, I'm down to try some new buzz baits. I'm a little stingy on which buzz baits I throw and I need to expand my buzz bait, uh, my buzz bait arsenal a little bit. So checking out the Tackle HD Watson Worldwide uh, buzzer. Okay, so I had to restock on some um, power bait general stuff. Uh, so anyway, Omnia had a whole bunch of Berkeley power bait stuff on sale and I, the general is a good fish catcher for me uh, around docks. Uh, it's a great wacky worm just to throw on. I, I use them for fun fishing, I use them for tournaments, you know, kind of a little bit of whatever. So I did a little bit of a power bait restock. I do like these. Um, and for on a discount, I don't want to pay full price for these, but if I can get these on a discount, I'm definitely going to grab them. So I'm not going to talk about this. You all know the general. Uh, I got, I think, like four packages of the generals just to kind of reload for uh, for fun and, or, and for tournament season. So I've got a few of those. Now, there's a new bait, new, whatever, uh, that I wanted to try from Berkeley. And they basically took a general... Uh, they trimmed it down and they made it into a Ned Rig bait and it's called the Lil General. So I'm a sucker for Ned Rigs. I fish a ton of Ned Rig. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of Ned Rig in general. You could just take a general, cut it down, cut it in half and throw it on the net head or you can get the Lil General Ned bait. Uh, I don't know why I bought these. I just want to try them out. They're new, so I have to try them. Um, I did think I grabbed like two packages of these. Let me just look. Sorry, I got a lot of stuff in here. Is this the only one? I don't know. I think there's more in here. But anyway, the little general. I'm going to try it. Ned rigging for smallmouth, largemouth on my typical 7 foot medium spinning rods, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, got to try out the new latest, greatest uh, Ned baits. Also, the uh, flatworms are on sale. At the time of this video, all of these were on sale. All you know, all these power bait were on sale at Omnia. Um, I picked up flatworm, green pumpkin flatworms on sale. I mean, come on, you couldn't find these things all summer and now you're able to get them in green pumpkin and at a discount. I mean, come on, why not? I did have fun catching fish with the um, with the flatworm last year. It definitely caught me smallmouth. It you know they eat it. It's a proven bait. Don't got to talk too much about it. But anyway, picked up more flatworms. If you're not sure where to pick these up, hit the links in the description. I'm going to have to make a lot of links for this. Now, Berkeley has a flipping bait that I wanted to try in the Power Bait series. And that is called the Creature Hog. So I flip. I've, I've been flipping a lot more. Last season, I flipped more than I had flipped in years. And um, I really wanted to have some new flipping baits just to try some stuff out. And these are on sale, so I figured why not. Uh, these are four inch, you know, beaver style baits. I mean, it's nothing, nothing groundbreaking or anything, but they are, they are power scent or whatever, power bait max scent, whatever the marketing is. But anyway, going to try these out. Uh, I'm going to flip with these a little bit, see what happens. I'm going to add it to my flipping bag. Um, so see what happens there. Oh, more generals. Uh, and this is in the June bug. It's one of my favorite colors. I usually alternate between a June bug or a kind of a green pumpkin. So green pumpkin and some kind of flake. That's pretty much the only two colors of um, stick worms that I throw these days. Keep it simple, stupid, right? Um, so we're going to keep going. Omnia, I always got to take advantage of the free t-shirt. If you, if you spend over a certain amount of money, you can add a t-shirt to your order. I like these t-shirts. They're great. I use them in the gym. I use them out and about. Nice quality t-shirts. Definitely go up a size. They, they do run a little small. They're more athletic fit. So if you're between like a medium or a large or a large and extra large, just go go up one size. Just pro tip. Um, so I had to pick up some SV3s. I still have never actually used the spinnerbait from Mega Bass, even though it's been out for a while now. These are just, I, I have so many other spinnerbaits, I just haven't had a reason to go out and grab these. And I figured I got the Mad Bull, might as well grab the Mega Bass spinnerbaits to try on the old Mad Bull. 
I got these in three eighths and I was almost regretting that I didn't get them in half because I heard that the Mad Bull is actually a little better with half ounce baits in three eighths. And, uh, but, I, but I've, I'm like, okay, well, if I do three eighths and I throw a trailer on, it kind of gets around half. So anyway, I'm going to try these out. I picked up the uh, chartreuse and like the fire tiger color and then just the regular old bone white, you know, pretty standard uh, spinnerbait color. Spinnerbait colors. Never actually tried this. Kind of excited. For all the Mega Bass stuff I try, I'm like, I have other Mega Bass spinnerbaits like the Power Bombs and some of the other JDM stuff, but I haven't actually just gotten these straight SV3s yet. So we're going to give them a whirl. Oh, man. So, oh, there's the other package of the General. I knew I ordered two. Uh, this is in a cinnamon purple color. Definitely going to throw these for smallies. Uh, we'll see how it works out. I'm sure they'll eat it. I mean, what don't they eat, right? Got to keep going. Another pack of generals. I, I, I guess I bought like four packages of generals. I bought more power baits, uh, more generals, and more flatworms. I'm just going to add this to the pile. Uh, they're on sale, so I just grabbed a bunch to last me the rest of the year. Now, let's talk. Oh, I got another fighter jig that was hiding down there. Another half ounce. So add it to the pile of fighter jigs. Now, one of my buddies fishes on the Bassmaster Elite, and he told me that this is one of his favorite frogs, and he is not sponsored by this company. This is a frog he likes to throw. It's the Molex uh, Supernado. Now, what makes this frog unique is it has plastic legs, so it kind of swims like a buzzbait or a whopper plopper. So I'm gonna take this out of the package. Now, I got this particular color because I don't have any like gray, I mean, it's kind of white on the bottom, but this is this color was called gray frog, and I'm like, I don't have any like gray frog, even though it's pretty much pearl on the bottom, whatever. But um, as you can tell, it's got flappy legs and these things kick like crazy uh, in the water. What's interesting though is it doesn't come with any extra legs. So hopefully these legs hold up. I guess we'll find out. But anyway, I have a, I have a friend of mine who throws a lot of frogs and he says that these are great and he's not sponsored. So I'm like, all right, if, he, if they're good enough for him, I'm going to give it a whirl. It actually kind of matches my hoodie, which is kind of cool. Um, anyway, the Super Nato Frog, never used it. If any of you guys have used this frog and you've had good experiences or bad, leave a comment. I'll check it out. But uh, kind of excited to try a new frog. And this is this is not a wide side-to-side -side walking frog. This is a you just cast and retrieve and it kicks the tails and it's kind of like a buzz bait. So that's kind of neat. I'm excited about that. Um, my I fished with a partner in my tournament league and I said, hey, what do you want out of the order? Because I'm gonna order him a couple things and I'll pay for them. It's on me. So he request. These are the baits he requested. He requested the VMC HD ringed uh, in a three yacht. Now, if you're not Texas ring rigging with a ringed hook, um, my preference are. I, I like. I mean, they're both good. The you got the Gamagatu ringed uh, Superline hook, and then you got the VMC ringed uh, HD hook. These are basically the same hook. I don't think if you use either of them, you're gonna know which one you're using. They both pretty much are awesome. Uh, but if you're not Texas rigging with a ringed hook fishing in grass, you got to try it. The hookup ratio with these is amazing. You really, really get just violent, really great hook sets in the top of their mouths. Um, just a really great way to fish Texas rigs, especially if you're fi fishing creature baits or tube style baits uh, in the grass, you really got to try a ring version of the hook. Gamagatu makes a great one and VMC makes a great one. Uh, you know, anywhere from three to four to five aught is probably going to cover all your bases for all your different types of plastics. Uh, my partner also asked for some sniper finesse hooks. Uh, I believe these are the hooks that he uses for Nico rigging. Now, my partner Josh, he's a really good Nico fisherman. It's one of his go tos. And this one aught sniper finesse is his go to Nico hook, hook, Nico bait hook. So I'm going to try this hook out this year also for Nico rigging because he uses it and he catches the snot out of like fish in the grass with this hook. So I think I might have grabbed, I think I grabbed a package for myself. So I got one package for Josh. And then I grab myself one because I'm going to give him a roll too because I see him. I, I've seen it in action on my boat. These hooks 100% work. Um, a hook that I'm trying. So he likes the split shot drop shot hooks from Gami. I'm trying to win him over to the Ichikawa Mukad hooks, which I think is a superior drop shot hook. So I got him the package of hooks he wants. But then I ordered the Ichikawa Mukads and I'm going to give them to him. And I'm going to be like, try these. I think, I think you like these. They're really good hooks. And I got these in the, in the number two. So if you're nose hooking, number two is definitely the way to go. Uh, number two in the split shot, drop shot hooks as well. 
Um, so back to jigs real quick. I got to talk real quick. Oh, I got another package of the VMC ringed and these are the four out. So I got Josh a set of three and a set of four, kind of the most common sizes. Now, if you don't know our buddy, Rich Hellebass, he has a jig company and um, I used his jigs last season and I ran out of them uh, because they're good jigs, but I, and I used them a lot in the, in timber and wood. And you know, when you use jigs and wood, sometimes you break off and I needed a reload, but, uh, so his brand is called Bass Tech. Uh, they are tungsten jigs. These jigs are fantastic in the wood. So I have caught some awesome, awesome largemouth and smallmouth in down trees using Rich's Bass Tech tungsten jigs. These are in the, let's see what sizes I get. I got these all, I got one three eighths, uh, and then two halves. I think I wanted to get more of three eighths, but I might've, um, forgot to add more to the cart. But anyway, these are legit tungsten jigs. So these are a little cheaper than the, um, stealth fighter, but these are Arky heads. So these are more for like that hard cover. Um, it's got a horizontal line tie still, I'm sorry, vertical line tie, not a horizontal, but it's got a more of an Arky flathead. So this thing skips really well. Got a super stout hook. Um, also, what I like about the Bass Tech jigs is they have the rattle chambers on the back. So you can leave the rattles in, or if you don't want it to rattle and you actually want this thing to come through grass and cover a little better without getting like stuff caught on the rattles, you can just rip or snip with scissors the rattles and you just take them off and turn it silent. So you, you comes with the rattles, but you have the option to de-rattle it if you so choose. So anyway, great jig, really good tungsten jig. Um, you know, between the stealth fighter jigs, between the stealth fighter jigs and the Bass Tech jigs, you're kind of covered on both tungsten. This is the one I would probably use more in the grass because it comes through grass really well. This is definitely that dock, sniping, skipping, um, hardcover kind of jig, you know, or open water, whatever. Both both great jigs. Um, got another package of the Mukads. So, this is Bass Tech jigs. So I was told this uh, 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 Instagram follower told me that I have to try the little Kitek spin guard jig. Now this is a straight, really technique specific uh, terminal tackle for like Wisconsin smallmouth fishing. Now smallmouth like to hang around in cribs uh, in Wisconsin, and apparently this is a really nice bait to use around cribs because it's really small, it gets in and out. Um, I've never used this jig particular before, but this thing is little. Uh, and I've heard you don't even need to run a trailer on it. You just throw the jig, uh, like on a spinning rod and call it a day. So this is, let's take a look at it. It is really, really small. It's got a tiny, tiny hook. Like, look, let's look at, like, this is the Bass Tech jig. Oh no, sorry, this is the, that's the finesse jig. Uh, I already put the finesse. Anyway, I already put it away. But uh, yeah, so anyway, the little teeny tiny tungsten, Actually, I don't even know if this tongue is. It's got to be that small, right? So anyway, little teeny tiny Kitek jig. Apparently, don't even need to put a trailer. You just throw it on a spinning rod, throw it around cribs, and, you know, smallies will eat it. Or even around wreck rocks and stuff. So I don't know. It's a jig I've never tried before, but that is the that is the Kitek spin jig. These things are, they sell out. I mean, they're hard to find sometimes. Like Omnia gets them and then they go. So people must be into these things because they don't always stick around, especially, you know, all the time, all the Kitek jigs don't like stick around too much. Oh, I got two of those. So let me, I'm going to save one last thing that I'm going to talk about, but I also restocked on Menace Grubs. This is just a great swim jig trailer. Uh, I use Menace Grubs for swim jig trailers. Uh, you can use a chatterbait trailer. You can use it for um, a swing head. You can use it as a jig trailer. It's just one of the greatest all around trailers. I also reloaded on some Rage Cross for just like bigger profile swim jig trailers. That's pretty much all I use Rage Cross for is swim jig trailers, chatterbait trailers as well. Um, two things I'm gonna save and then we're gonna wrap this video up. Number one, we got a fancy reel. And number two, I got a technique that someone on my Instagram told me about that I've never thrown in my life but they were very specific about this setup. And because this person on Instagram is so specific, I'm like, I gotta try that. Like, it's crazy. So the technique is getting the fat Ica, uh, sorry, the fat Ica's from Yamamoto, but you rig them backwards. So you do the backs, the, the back, 
the back gliding technique. So you don't rig it forward, you rig it backwards, which I've heard the Fat Ike is a great back gliding bait for many years. But what he does is he told me this rigging technique is he takes the Gamagatu 4 aught super line spring lock hook, right? But he swaps out the spring lock in here for an owner CPS. So apparently if you put this owner CPS on the back of the Gami and you get rid of the Gami one, he tells me you can get like eight plus fish out of one bait. Apparently the CPS lock really holds the bait on. And he's like, I go through way less, like he said, if he runs this by itself, it's like one or two fish and the bait is done, you know, typical Yamamoto stuff. But he said, if you add in the CPS lock into that hook, you can get way more fish out of one bait. So I'm really excited to try this out. So shout out to the person on Instagram who said, get this specific hook, this specific add on to the hook, use this specific bait and just throw it around, weed lines, docks, back swim it. Apparently this is a great alternative to just throwing a wacky rig. So if you're in a tournament, everyone's throwing wacky rigs, back rigging a, bat, a fat Ica in this manner, out in open water by grass, supposedly really gets bit. So we're gonna find out, I'm gonna try it for sure. Okay, we're like 30 minutes in. So if you made it past this far, we got the big Mamma Jamma the Steez SV. Now this is a reel I've not owned. I've never had a Steez SV. I, ha I have Steez A's, but I've never had the magnesium version of the uh, of the Steez. So this is, I know this, rod, this reel's been out since like 2017, 2016, and it's still, still considered to be one of the best casting reels ever made. Uh, comes in this really fancy little reel case. Now I got plans for this reel. This reel is going on my super destroyer. So I have a P5 super destroyer that this bad boy is gonna be going on and we are gonna be using it to throw a bunch of these jigs around docks and shallow cover and wood. And so this, this reel is gonna specifically be going on the Mega Bass P5 super destroyer. I'm gonna be putting 15 pound Tatsu on this sucker. So we're gonna go some fancy line, fancy rod, very fancy reel. Uh, and that's the way it's gonna go. And then on the Mad Bull, I'm gonna throw a regular Stize. Uh, so, that's kind of the whole unboxing. I just want to say thank you. If you've made it this far in the video, you're a superstar and you're the kind of person that should definitely be hitting like and subscribe. And um, if you've got any questions, comments, please leave them in the description. I hope this was entertaining. I went through a lot of stuff here. My whole floor and counters are just insanely covered in fishing tackle right now. Uh, but all of this is made possible by people using my Omnia code. Uh, so I really greatly appreciate it. And until the next video, this is me tapping out on this big, long-ass unboxing, so um, we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.